And there's a number of factors that are, that are impacting this, okay? One is that we found out through this Mark Colombo incident that Joe Judge has paid more attention to the offensive line, what they're doing, what Colombo's teaching them, chiming in more, helping out. That's the, that's the word on the street from a lot of beat reporters is that Joe Judge has, has honed in on the offensive line and what to do to help. And, and this is why Mark Colombo is not with the team anymore. Joe Judge had a relationship with uh, this DeGuglielmo, wanted to bring him in as a consultant to help out with Colombo. Colombo and DeGuglielmo had a prior relationship when Colombo was a player with the Dolphins, and DeGuglielmo was either the Colts or the Dolphins, and DeGugs was there, and Colombo's a tackle. And according to, I forget what source, okay, but I'm no Jason McIntyre. I don't make up shit. Like him saying there was a fist fight. When everybody else, unless everyone else is getting paid off by the franchise and the organization, like we'll ban your media pass if you say this happened, just did not happen. Why Joe Judge would fight a man that's 6'8", 330. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past Judge. He's a feisty dude. But at the same time, like, why, Jason McIntyre? Why? But what's weird to me is that I think it was Art Stapleton who said this. That, from NJ.com, that's right. When Colombo's a player... He was in his 11th year as a tackle. DeGuglielmo's, it was DeGuglielmo's last game as offensive line coach. Colombo came up to him and said, you're the best coach I've ever had. I've learned more under you in one year than I have in the previous 10 or 11 years. How do you have that interaction where it seems like this coach has changed your life, changed the way you play, your, play the sport, made you better as a professional? How do you have that interaction? And then when Joe Judge says, hey, we're bringing in the Google Elmo to help you out. I know that you guys have a prior relationship. How do you freak out and call Judge? I'm assuming call them a cunt. I, I mean, that's kind of the, that's, that's what everyone's been kind of hinting at. So I, what happened there, Colombo? What happened there? Very weird. And how does that, and now that people are saying like, how does that affect Joe Judge's relationship with, with Jason Garrett? Because the, I, I believe the assumption is, we would love to have Jason Garrett as the OC. And then Garrett's like, okay, here's my man, Mark Colombo, as the O-line coach. And Judge was like, eh, okay. But I think DeGuglielmo was also probably a final candidate in the mix there. And Judge probably wanted DeGuglielmo. And Garrett's like, I feel more comfortable with Colombo. To, to TLDR, too long, didn't read. The offensive line has improved significantly over the last four or five weeks. Some would say that's due to... Will Hernandez getting COVID and then Shane Lemieux coming in and doing well against the Bucks, and then doing well against Washington and doing well against the Eagles. Andrew Thomas is playing better. And some people think that it's because Will Hernandez was out of the lineup and Will Hernandez doesn't communicate as well as Shane Lemieux. And even though PFF tends to grade Will Hernandez better, that just looking at the eye test and looking at what sh the little things that Shane Lemieux does at the line in terms of communication, in terms of his arm length, his ability to punch and everything else, his nastiness, that he is overall a better fit for the line, even though from, an, from a PFF human subjective number standpoint, he's not, at least in pass protection. Or is it just a, a, fact, ma a factor, a matter of Joe Judge stepping in and being like, we need to do this, this, and this, and this, you know? But it's, uh, that's pretty ballsy of judge especially after a win i mean it's crazy to think if you if i come to you and say hey yeah the uh in week after week 10 the giants are three and seven okay and the head coach joe judge fires the offensive line coach mark colombo in your head you're thinking to yourself our offensive line stinks and they're probably the reason why we're three and seven and it's like <laughs> he actually had one of their best performances you know 150 plus yards on the ground and uh you know Three sacks allowed, yes, sure, but like not as many pressures, not as many hits, knockdowns, hurries, whatever. So it's, it, I don't know that you have many coaches that are willing to do that to say, you know what, even though this, uh, even though our offensive line is clicking and even though they just came off one of their best games and even though this might disrupt the chemistry and might foul us up, you know, I'm going to pull the trigger. This guy showed me disrespect and I won't have it in my organization. Team first, team first, team first. You know, in, in judges' mind, team first means okay, Colombo's gonna partner with the Guglielmo. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get together, bump heads, and try and figure things out, make things work better. So that we don't have three sacks. You can always get better. And that's another that's another judge mantra. You can always improve, you can always get better. So ballsy move. 
I'm 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 not panicked by it at all. I don't I don't think most Giants fans hate the move. I think they love it. I mean, it sucks for Colombo, obviously, and who knows how it's going to affect Jason Garrett and how he operates. But there's a there's a, Judge had a relationship with De Guglielmo, and everything I've read about this dude is fantastic. He's a former he was a former coach, a graduate assistant for Tom Coughlin at Boston College, I believe, and then he also was a, a Giants coach from 2004 to 2008 when the line offensive line really started to get cooking and just really got. I mean, the 2008 season was one of the best rushing attacks we've ever had i think it was tops in franchise history it has to be so i think it's a i think it's a you know i believe in joe judge okay as prime time would say i believe in joe judge like i think uh, I, I there's nothing he's done yet i wouldn't say nothing but it was very rare that anything that he's done that i don't feel comfortable with it's just like yep that makes sense go with it everything he's put out there into the world he's he's made come to fruition. So I'm, uh, I'm bad about it.